Hello, my fellow soul gardeners. Christopher Wataki here, your friendly neighborhood astrologer. I have just recorded a new series for Soul Nirvana called Uranus in Aries. This is a powerful time, folks. Uranus has entered into Aries for the first time in 86 years. Big changes. And I've recorded a special series available in Soul Nirvana that's going to talk about the history of Uranus in Aries, define Uranus, define Aries, and define what it will do for you in the next seven years. I also retroactively define what Uranus was doing in Pisces in the last seven years, and I provide a video that helps you translate your rising sign and your sun sign. So if you've yet to ascend into our premium video channel, Soul Nirvana, come on down and check it out. It's at soulnirvana.com. Hello, my Sagittarians, and welcome now to Wednesday. Well, cloudy out of itself, reflective today. The Sagittarius are in their own world, maybe a little self-absorbed. You're learning for another day in a row. This is the moon in Leo. So your emotions are reporting in on your beliefs and your philosophies. This makes you philosophical. This makes you spaced out. This makes you want to detach and look at your life from a distance. Excellent time for a little trip. Excellent time for a little trip to a book. Excellent time to learn a new topic. And what you're basically doing is learning. In the last 30 days since the moon has been in this spot, what have you experienced emotionally? How have you learned? How has that affected your beliefs as a result? So it's a spaced out day. Zip in the sun. We're spaced out for another reason. Neptune. We're in chapter three of Sun in Pisces. Neptune rules the day. That's the synergy energy. And the Sages are working on home, family, and foundation. Now, by now, you should be pretty clear on the direction your self-nurturing is going to take in 2011 and beyond. But if you have any outstanding questions, or if you're at a fork in the road, not sure which way to go. Or if you're trying to get to the bottom of understanding the depths of you and why it is you might be resisting to self-nurturing, Neptune saves the day. Log into your higher self. Ask yourself those difficult questions. Should I go to this house or that apartment? See which one feels right. On a Neptune day, we're more logged in than usual. We can see the bigger picture. And if we're stuck in a situation, our guardian agents and guides will help us. And Jupiter... Jupiter is opposing Saturn for the next 30 days or so. This is a tug of war between two states of awareness. On the one hand, Sagittarius is one to expand the joy. You want romance, you want love, you want creativity, you want fun, you want adventure, and you want it now. But on the opposing end, well, how does that affect my responsibilities in the world? How does that affect my friendships? How does that affect my social status and the way I'm known in the world? So it's a tug of war. So let's okay. If I want to have fun, that means I need to move to a new city. Okay, move to a new city. Will I have fun and where will the fun be? That sort of thing. Back and forth between social obligation and reconsidering your place in society and how does that affect your dreams and then stepping in your dreams and how does that affect your place in society. The two will be ping-ponging till mid-April. And it's Wednesday. We've got Skip Jennings, our urban mystic, going live today. He is doing his Pisces question and answer episode some fascinating questions from viewers today and see what Skip has to say to it. This is Skip outside his box, but his normal, potent, positive energy. Skip is live everywhere our garden streams. All right, Sag, that's all I have for today, but tomorrow it is decision time. All those details and more in 24, live, love, be. So